Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to make a switch or button that can turn on and off again here in Dreams on the PS4. It's kind of a build out of tutorials that are in the game, but the tutorials in the game don't show you how to do one that turns them on and off again. But I'm going to start by throwing in something for the switch to actually do, and I'm going to create a rotator that's controlled by the switch. So I'm just throwing in this block path using the search function to find it. And then I'm just turning on snap to grid in guides, which will mean the block will go in at a right angle so that I can actually put it in place so that the jump is not possible. And then I'm just lowering it down a little bit so it's on the right level. And that leads into the next step, which is to go into gadgets and then choose movers and outputs. And what you're looking for is this rotator. And what I want to do is place it directly onto this block. So you can use L1 to snap it onto it so you can place it in place there. And then you can zoom on into it by pressing X on it. And that'll allow you to control this widget, which I want to turn it upwards so that the block spins around and around and around. And it's this function that I'm gonna control with my on off switch. And once you've got something in place that you can control, it's time to actually build the switch. And I'm just gonna use this hexagonal block that's going to be my switch, but you can pretty much be as creative as you want to be in terms of creating the switch. And once you've got it in place, then I'm going to go into logic and processing, which is also in gadgets, and I'm gonna throw in a microchip. And within this microchip, this is where I'm gonna control all of the actions to turn this on and off. Now you can go into the switch itself by pressing on L1 and X, and that'll open the microchip. And it's within here, it's like a canvas for you to build out certain actions and group them up together. Next, I want a sensor and I want a trigger zone. And I'm just gonna drop that into my microchip here. And this time I want to press L1 and square to zoom into the information, which brings up this block and allows me to move where the trigger zone is. So you've just gotta kinda of like move it around until it's on the block itself and then keep maneuvering it until it's in place and reduce its size by pressing down on the directional buttons. And you can kinda of tweak it until it's perfectly placed, which you can see on the screen here. But once you've got that, head on back into your microchip section and then you want to select a counter from logic and processing. And this is what's gonna allow you to pass through a permanent signal to the rotator. So just stamp it in with either R2 or X and then connect up the microchips detected to the counter increase count. And then you just need to connect up counter full as soon as it's got that one count in to the rotator, which you can find on the side of this block here or whatever it is that you're trying to make active. And that will make that a permanent state switch so that when you actually press on the switch, the rotator just keeps going round and round and round even when you step off the switch. However, that's not quite what we want to do. We want a switch that turns on and off again. So head back on into the microchip and duplicate the counter by holding L1 and R2 and connect up the trigger detected to the increase count on the second counter, the counter full to the reset count on the first counter, and the counter full on the second counter to the reset count on the second counter. And that means you reset them all after the second switch, and you reset the first one after the first switch. However, there's a bit more to do. In the first one, you need to make sure that the count is at one, and in the second one, you need to increase the count to two. You also need to make sure that the second line of numbers in the counter is always set at zero, and that should give you a switch that turns on when you press it, and then off when you press it again. However, you'll notice that the switch doesn't actually change in any kind of way. So we're gonna change that by throwing in some animation. So you can get to there by going on to animate and you get to the action recorder and then drop that into your microchip. And we're gonna use this to essentially animate the switch. So as soon as you drop that in, you can see the records on the right hand side, it's going. So as soon as I move the switch, it will record the movement that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna drop it down and pick it back up again so that that movement is the actual process of enabling the switch. And then you just need to press stop recording and that will bank that recording as what happens when you actually couple them up. So then you've just got to connect up the trigger detected to the power on the animation. And then once you step on the switch, you'll see it moves. However, it's a bit too much. So I'm just going to compensate for that by dropping the switch down just a little bit. And then I'm also going to set the action on the animation 
to once so that it only happens once each time I jump on it and you can see there's the switch going down each time I jump so if I jump again the switch goes down now it's a bit of a slow process as you can see the animation isn't as fast as I want it to be but then I can just go back into the action recorder by clicking on L1 and square and that brings up the settings and what I'm going to do is just speed up the animation by sliding this slider over to the right hand side and that gives me a switch that turns on and off really really quickly and that's everything that you need to know about how to make a switch or button that can turn on and off again with permanent states in Dreams PS4. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of my guide for Dreams on the PS4 with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.